Before we enter into prayer, I want to speak to those who are in a season of waiting, a season where hope seems distant and perhaps the weight of life feels overwhelming. You might have more prayer requests than you do answers, and your faith may be growing weary. But let me remind you, hold on just a little longer. Don't give up. God sees you in your moment of need. He knows exactly what you're facing and why things may seem unclear right now. Understand this, God's timing is perfect. He knows the beginning and the end, and while we may long for immediate answers, his plans unfold at just the right moment. Often, we find ourselves asking why certain things haven't worked out or when God will deliver what we've been praying for. We want to know why some doors remain closed or why others seem too heavy to push open. But in those moments, I want to encourage you to lean on the promises found in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, where the Lord says, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. How comforting it is to know that God, in his infinite wisdom, already has everything planned for our good. We may not know every detail, and perhaps it's better that way. If left to our own understanding, we might choose paths that lead us away from God's will. But here's the truth, you don't need to know the entire plan when you trust the one who holds the plan. You don't need to understand every why when you know the one who gives purpose to all things. While we may feel discomfort or even fear in the unknown, we don't have to walk in darkness because we can call on the name of Jesus, the light of the world. Now let's transition into today's prayer message. One of the most beautiful truths about having a relationship with Jesus Christ is the joy he gives us, a joy that isn't dependent on circumstances or fleeting emotions. Joy comes from the unshakable knowledge that God is sovereign, he is in control at all times. Even when we face valleys of hardship or mountains of uncertainty, our joy remains because we know who holds our lives. Psalm 146 says it beautifully, Let all that I am praise the Lord, I will praise the Lord as long as I live. Our joy comes from knowing that God, the creator of heaven and earth, is in control. He gives justice to the oppressed, frees the prisoners, opens the eyes of the blind, and lifts up those who are weighed down. He is faithful to every promise he has made, and he reigns forever. There are countless reasons to rejoice in the Lord. His word is full of promises for you and me, promises that declare his goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. We rejoice because our Savior, Jesus Christ, is alive and victorious. We rejoice because he has given us the Holy Spirit to comfort, guide, and teach us in every season of life. In moments of uncertainty, when we don't know what lies ahead, the Holy Spirit offers peace and clarity, filling our hearts with divine wisdom. Even the simple fact that we woke up today is a reason to be joyful. Every breath, every heartbeat, is a testimony to God's grace and provision. What we often consider small blessings, like the ability to hear, see, and walk, actually tremendous gifts from our Creator. Let us never take these things for granted but instead lift our hearts in thanksgiving for all that God has done. Now let us pray. Lord Jesus, we come before you with hearts filled with gratitude and praise. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Your name is above all names, and you are worthy of all our worship. We thank you, Lord, that you are our bridge over troubled waters, our place of safety and peace. We may face many emotions in life, 
but I pray that the joy of the Lord would rise above every feeling of fear, doubt, or anxiety. Let your joy, Lord, be our strength today and always. Your word in Psalm 20 verses 6 to 8 reminds us that you give victory to your anointed ones. Some trust in worldly powers, chariots, horses, and riches, but we choose to trust in the name of the Lord our God. You are our defender, our provider, and the one who holds our future securely in your hands. We rejoice because we know that you work all things together for good, even when we cannot see the full picture. Lord, you have proven time and again that you are a God of miracles, a God who delivers, protects, and leads your people to victory. Just as you parted the Red Sea for Moses and the Israelites, just as you were with Joseph in every trial he faced, just as you stood with Daniel in the lion's den, we trust that you are with us now. You are our mighty protector, and we declare that no matter what challenges lie ahead, you will lead us safely through. I thank you, Lord, that you are my constant help, my source of hope and joy. Even when the enemy tries to sow seeds of doubt or fear, I choose to stand on your promises, knowing that you are faithful. Take away every burden I carry, Lord, and replace it with the peace that surpasses all understanding. Help me to trade my weakness for your strength, my fear for your joy. Let my heart be satisfied with the treasure of your word and may your joy overflow in my life. As we continue to reflect on the faithfulness of our God, let us remember that even when we walk through difficult seasons, He is still with us, guiding our steps. Sometimes, life can feel overwhelming. The challenges we face may seem too big, the mountain too steep to climb, or the valley too deep to walk through. But it's in those very moments, when we feel our weakest, that God reveals his strength in the most powerful way. You see, the Bible tells us that God's power is made perfect in our weakness, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. What a comforting truth! When we are at our lowest, God is at his best, working all things together for our good. He doesn't need us to have it all together. He simply asks that we trust him. That we surrender our burdens, our worries, and our cares into his capable hands, knowing that he will take care of us. There may be moments when you feel like you're in the middle of a storm, when the winds of life are raging and you can't see a way forward. But remember, Jesus calmed the storm with just a word. He spoke peace over the chaos, and the waters obeyed. In the same way, he speaks peace into your life today. No matter what you are going through, his peace is available to you. Jesus said in John 14 verse 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. The peace that Jesus offers is not dependent on our circumstances. It's a peace that transcends understanding, a peace that anchors us when everything else seems uncertain. So, wherever you are right now, whether you're facing challenges in your health, your relationships, your finances, or your spiritual life, know that God is with you. He is your ever-present help in times of trouble. He is your rock, your fortress, and your deliverer. You are not alone in your struggle, God is right there beside you, working in ways you cannot yet see. Trust in his timing, trust in his plan, and trust that his love for you is unchanging. Let's take a moment now to pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you, acknowledging your greatness, your love, and your mercy. 
We thank you for being a God who is not distant, but close to the brokenhearted. You are a God who hears every prayer, sees every tear, and knows every unspoken need. We lift up to you all of our worries and burdens, and we place them at your feet, trusting that you will make a way where there seems to be no way. Lord, you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. When the storms of life rage around us, help us to fix our eyes on you and not on our circumstances. Remind us that even in the darkest moments, you are our light. Even when we don't understand why things are happening, we choose to trust you because you are good, and your plans for us are full of hope and a future. We declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, because you, Lord, are our protector. You are our defender, and in you, we find safety. Your word in Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. We hold on to that promise today, knowing that no matter what comes our way, we are safe in your arms. Father, I pray for every person who is struggling today. For those who are battling fear, uncertainty, or anxiety, I ask that you would fill them with your perfect peace. For those who are facing challenges in their health, I ask for your healing touch. For those who are burdened by financial worries, I ask that you would provide for their needs according to your riches in glory. And for those who feel lost or distant from you, I ask that you would draw them close to your heart. Lord, help us to remember that our joy is not dependent on our circumstances. Our joy comes from knowing that you are with us, that you are for us, and that you are working all things together for our good. Fill our hearts with the joy of the Lord, which is our strength, and help us to walk in that joy every day, no matter what we face. We thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we know that just as you have been faithful in the past, you will continue to be faithful in the future. Help us to live with a heart full of gratitude, always remembering that you are a good, good father who delights in blessing his children. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor, because you alone are worthy. Thank you for hearing our prayers and for answering them in your perfect time and in your perfect way. We trust you, Lord, and we rest in your peace. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. If this prayer has blessed you, Take a moment to reflect on God's goodness and type Amen in the comments. Remember, no matter what you're facing, God is in control, and His love for you will never fail. May the peace and joy of the Lord be with you today and always.